Hello everyone, this is Raven from Digi Integrative. Welcome to Tech News Episode 287. The Indian 5G Spectra will have a sufficient protection and won't interfere with the aircraft altimeters. The signal will be more than 500 MHz below the radio wave frequency of the altimeter. The Spectra will be issued after the government finalizes the price. Indian travelers will get microchip based e passport. The e passport will contain microchip that would have important security data stored in them. India currently issues only printed passports to users. The growing trend of stock trading through mobile capital market regulator CB on Wednesday launched its mobile application Sati to create awareness among investors about the basic concepts of securities market. This mobile application is yet another initiative of SEB with a view of empowering investors with knowledge about securities market. Micromax has launched in Note phone back in 2020. And now Micromax took it to Twitter for teasing the launch of the upcoming Micromax in Note 2. Microsoft has officially revealed that the much-awaited in Note 2 will be launching on January 25th in India. This smartphone will be coming up with a refreshed design and it will be similar to the Galaxy S21 series phones. The Red Magic 7 will look similar to its predecessor and will have a shoulder sensor triggers. It will be powered by a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset and we can expect that it to have a 165Hz capable display as well. Black Shark series will be launching soon in China. This lineup includes two models such as Black Shark 5 and a Black Shark 5 Pro. Black Shark has rolled out a teaser of the Black Shark 5 series which indicate that it may go official as early as February in China. This lineup will be arriving with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset while the vanilla model is codenamed as Katyusha and a Pro model is codenamed as Patriot. Nubia just teased its upcoming Z40 Pro flagship phone on Vivo saying that it's going to be the first phone with a custom 35mm lens paid with a Sony IMX787 sensor. We have not seen 35mm lens for main camera in a while so this sounds rather interesting. Lenovo teased gaming shoulder key attachment for its upcoming Legion Y90 gaming handset and also give out a little information. Lenovo has forgot to mention whether or not the triggers would be compatible with the current generation Legion phones or not. Anyway, the attachments boost mechanical keys mimicking those of the gaming mouse and are rated at 3 million presses. The triggers of course have low latency and are subjected to custom mapping in various schemes. The Redmi K50 eSport model will come with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 series chipset. Other models in the Redmi K50 lineup will pack a Snapdragon 870 processor, Dimensity 8000 and a Dimensity 9000 chipset. The Redmi K50 series is expected to debut next month. Samsung has confirmed that it will be announcing its Galaxy S22 series in February. But you can reserve a pre-order spot for the Galaxy S22 series phone or a Galaxy Tab S8 now. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series is expected to launch in the coming weeks. The Tab S8 series will include three variants and will be powered by a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. Amazon Italy has posted some images and specifications of these three models in the Galaxy Tab S8 lineup. Samsung Galaxy A52s price in India has been slashed by rupees 5000. It is still available at the old price on e-commerce sites. The key specifications include a 6.5 inch display, Snapdragon 778G chipset, 64 megapixel primary camera and a 4500 mAh battery with 25 watt fast charging support. The Oppo Reno 7 Pro price of the Indian variant has been leaked online. The 12GB RAM and a 256GB storage will be priced around Rs 47,990. The expected price of 8GB RAM and a 128GB model is around Rs 36,000 to 38,000 rupees. Boat has launched the Adobe's 181 True Wireless earbuds for Rs 1499. Boat Adobe's 181 True Wireless feature Bluetooth 5.2, 10mm drivers and a 20 hours of playback time. The Boat Adobe's 181 True Wireless earbuds comes in 4 colors and will be available via Amazon and Flipkart. WhatsApp for iOS may soon bring the ability to let users smooth their chat history from an Android device to an iPhone. At present, WhatsApp users on an iPhone are only able to migrate their chat from an existing iPhone and are not able to move their chat history from an Android device. Twitter has acknowledged the outage of the microblogging platform and it is because of a bug. Twitch, Trello, Counter-Strike and Roblox has also faced outages in the part of the globe. Multiple users are reporting issues with the GTA 5 game as well. 
2K headquarters has revealed the cover star of the upcoming entry in the WWE franchise which is called as WWE 2022. It is set to release on March 11th. The pre-orders for the game has been kicked off. Many PlayStation users speculated that some Activision Blizzard IPs including Call of Duty will become exclusive to Xbox post Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Microsoft Gaming CEO has confirmed that Call of Duty games will continue to be available on PlayStation consoles. Microsoft and Activision Blizzard may share some details regarding the exclusivity status of other franchises. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.